So you've just been presented with the, the Player of the Month Award for April. How does it feel? It feels great. Um, the level of support I've had from everybody right through here at work, staff, pupils, my head teacher, um, all my friends and family. There's been people sharing, you know, the, the vote online constantly. So to actually be, win the award, to be nominated first of all is massive, but I'm over the moon to actually went on and won the, the Player of the Month. It was the, the highest number of public votes that they were received and obviously you got a, oh. a huge percentage of that, we were just shy of 36%. It was a huge amount of support that you got. I mean, how does it feel to, to know that there's so many people, you know, backing you personally? It's great. I mean, the pride that you know it fills me with on a personal level but also for the women's game as well because the amount of votes overall I know there was a lot and um, so that in itself is a massive achievement for women's football in Scotland but yeah for personally actually knowing that that many people know me like to start off with it's, uh, it's uh, yeah it feels great and in terms of obviously April you had a fantastic month scored in, in every single game Glasgow girls winning two games and, and rising up the table I mean from a point of view, how good a month was able for you, but for the team as well? It was outstanding. Uh, we needed it, I think, from the central game where we managed to win 3-2 late on. From then we've kicked on, went from bottom of the table into third in the matter of four games. Uh, we knew we were capable, but it was a matter of time. You know, it was coming, it was coming, and what had tend to happen before, we'd go one behind, two behind in games, and then we'd end up 5-6. But now if that happens, we know how to deal with it. You know, we've got that bit of composure, a wee bit of professionalism, and we know we can kick on. So. As a team, you know, not just for me, but as a club themselves, the girls have put so much effort in um, from where we were this time six weeks ago. So massive credit to them. All the nominees could have been, de you know, deserved winners. I mean, to, to have beaten, you know, the calibre of players that they were talking about and the performances they put in this month, you know, does that add an, an extra kind of delight almost to winning this award? It does. Uh, when the nominations first came out, I was surprised, and then I seen the other players, and I was thinking, no chance. And we played against Hearts, and I had a bit of a wee bit of chat with one of the girls saying, I said at that point, I said there's no way, especially with the three other teams having, you know, been associated with a male club as well, and we are predominantly female. So I thought that was maybe going to go in their favour rather than mine. I'm sure the rest of the season as well, you just need to look at the two leagues, and then the two leagues at the top and then all across Scotland, the amount of players, the calibre of them, like, it's, it's on the up, you know what I mean? It's, it's a great achievement and it's, I'm proud to be nominated with players such as, you know, the ones this month, but it feels even better to win it. Full time here. Yes. Um, you know, as a, as a physical education teacher, combining that with obviously your football, which I know you're training a, a lot as well, yeah. plus obviously, you know, your personal life, which you've got to fit in as well. How do you find juggling all that and, and you know, putting the time and effort into all of this? Um, it's difficult. You know, I'm not going to say it's a walk in the park. It can be challenging at times, but when things like this happen and things like, you know, been rewarded at work with the, the attitude and the achievements of the kids then it makes it all worth it so you do find that wee extra you know extra bit of motivation to get to training on the Thursday when you're tired and you're back up on the Friday morning but uh, as like I say it's rewarding I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Just finally obviously you won this award will you be hoping for more I imagine <laughs> yeah. for your team overall as well? Yeah uh, I hope so but I mean this is enough for me I'm, I'm more than happy um, I will keep playing keep performing the way I have been and so I'm sure the rest of the girls will as well um, so maybe someone else from our team even the same league, league above, leagues below, you know, we are, we are hoping that we can get some more of these awards in the trophy cabinet.